My first apartment. Woo! So guys, this is what you will see when you first walk in. I um, tried to make the lighting as uh, good as I could for this kind of video, uh, but there's a lot of backlighting right now, but I will turn around so you can, you'll be able to see it better, I promise. I won't show you the sink because that's kind of a hot mess right now. This is my kitchen. Uh, one thing I really loved about this complex is the really cool ceilings it had. It has um, like steel bars and you can actually hang up to 300 pounds from these bars, which I thought was really cool. I ended up not hanging anything, but for a while I was going to hang a plant. So this is my uh, little kitchen area. And I'll just start over here. I've got some some picks on the fridge, but I've got, you know, the basic stacked fridge, my pantry situation. Super tiny, but gets the job done. Yeah, just lots of cabinets. Like I said, I'm moving, so I've got a few things that you might have to ignore, but uh, nothing too exciting in the kitchen other than hashtag food. So this is my apartment. Um, when you walk in, you see a lot of backlighting, but that'll hopefully change as I Go on, here I am, hello. I just wanna show you my bar cart. This is like, oh my God, I have a bunch of moving stuff over here, so I'm gonna to try to not show you that. <laughs> but this bar cart is my baby. This is like something that I um, wanted to create from the moment I got here, and I just love it. It's an antique um, art deco bar cart, this actual bar cart itself. I got it from an antique shop in Houston, uh, which I will write their name below because it's a really great antique shop. It's called Antiques and More uh, on Derry Ashford. This mirror I actually got from Ikea to put um, above it. And then this was actually a little invite to some cocktail. It was like a bar, like drink mixing type of event that I didn't even go to, but I thought that invitation was so cute that I clipped it to the mirror. But I just love this bar cart. I just put lots and lots of alcohol that I promise you I don't drink all of um, and some random knickknacks. I've started collecting corks. I got a vintage um, decanter and just a, a random couple of bottles of, of alcohol. If you can't tell already, my favorite drink is gin. I have like a million of those. Um, but yeah, my bar cart is my child. This is one thing I think out of this whole apartment that I'm most proud of in terms of interior design because I just, I love the way it came together. Also my walkway, like interior walkway of my apartment isn't actually like an interior hallway. There's no actual entry, so. Having this bar cart kind of gives it like a little bit of a break from the next room, which I thought was kind of nice. So I love this thing, my favorite ever. Uh, and my kitchen is pretty, you know, not that riveting. It's just another, just another apartment kitchen, but I think it's a, a really decent size for Houston. I think anybody watching from New York or whatever is like, you are living in a mansion, what are you doing? My parents got me this air fryer for Christmas that has actually changed my life. Um, makes cooking so easy, but I've got some moving stuff over here, a tray that I haven't used. Um, but really, yeah, I just, I got my microwave, trash in the corner, we're gonna ignore that. I was also lucky to have this bar area set up. Um, I kind of thought it was a must to have a bar area, um, and now I realize I don't really need it, but here, you can get a better look at the kitchen this way, but um, yeah, got some bar stools that I feel like I only use this area when people come over. Um, otherwise, if I'm by myself, I'm usually sitting on the couch or something. But yeah, I've got this little plant. This I plan to put in my uh, in the corner of my new bathtub when I move. That's why it's here. It's just out in the open. I don't know. Uh, this clock I've had since a long time ago, like since middle school probably. It's by Umbra, but I actually bought it from an interior design, a local interior design shop here, and I thought it was like a super unique local find, but it was not. Um, so yeah, that is my whole kitchen area and my bar cart area. That is that. Let's move on to the living room. The living room is one of my favorite parts of this whole entire apartment. Um, I really tried to like curate everything that I put in here. Um, and there are still things that I need to change or want to change. But for now, I absolutely love this. So I'll just start in this little corner. I actually took an empty Patron bottle and turned it into a vase and put one of these uh, little plants in it. I don't remember what these are called. They come in a lot of uh, flowers, but they're super, they're fresh and they're real, but they almost never die. Um, got a little antique frame I stole from my parents' house, as well as this little dish I got from my parents. I believe this is from Iran. Um, but I just put a little like smudge stick in there and some Palo Santo sticks. Just just for the vibe. 
And then I have this little uh, rose quartz situation with like seven chakras on it. And this side table actually got from Target. I really, really love this thing. I just, I love that it's marble and it's gold. Those are like two of my favorite things, but mostly gold. Um, got this little throw blanket and this is my couch. I actually got this couch from my parents. They had it in storage. They had an extra couch that they had um, recently just like put aside because they got a new couch. So I was lucky enough to be able to steal that from them too. Um, this blanket my mother gave me. And then I got some throw pillows here. Um, this. It's actually a random throw pillow, but the cover is from Ikea, and then this thing is from Ikea itself. Um, this lamp, geez, this is my favorite. It's a mid-century uh, side table lamp, so it actually has a glass side table. It's super heavy, super good quality. I got it from an antique mall here in Houston. It is just incredible, and I'm in love with it more and more every single day. I also have a um, Pothos plant that I need to repot next to it, and it's finally grown a bit, so that's nice. And then I have a ton of little plants on the floor. Uh, this one's empty because I need to put more basil in it so I can kill more basil. This is a cactus. I forgot what kind of succulent this is, but, um, so this is my living room. I actually love this place. Um, this stool I got from the same place as I got my little bar cart back there. Um, it's from Antique, I think it's called Antiques and More of Houston. And then this rug I got online. It reminded me of that West Elm rug that I wanted that everybody had that I just had to have that was like $400, but I was not about to pay $400 for it. Um, and then this coffee table, mid-century, the, the little flaps come down, so it's very um, compact and portable, but I got that from an antique store as well. I just love buying antique furniture. I feel like it is so much more heavy duty, usually more affordable, and I find the, the uniqueness of it and the character of it to be so stylish and so unique. Uh, I'm also really in love with this little piece I have up here, this mid-century inspired piece. It's not actual mid-century, but it is mid-century modern design. Um, so yeah, I like the whole setup of this room a lot, and I spend a lot of time in here just chilling, eating, um, you know. If we turn around, we will see this way too small uh, TV stand. So I have my TV, my soundbar, my whole setup over here, but I'm going to be getting a new TV stand as soon as I move, that's on my list. I have my guitar here uh, that I need to replace the strings on, took them off, haven't put them back on, need to do that. And that, uh, um, <coughs> excuse me, Arctic Monkeys from their um, Houston show. I actually ended up getting this poster and I framed it because I love the Arctic Monkeys. So this is from their Houston show on October 12th. Give me a shout out if you also like the Arctic Monkeys. Uh, I got some records on the side here and this record player that my cousin gave to me. Shout out to you, Kimmy. Um, and then I had a plant in this stand, which I absolutely love, but it is gone to my parents' house for rescuing because I cannot keep a plant alive. <laughs> but once that's back, I will show you. Um, and yeah, this is just a random stool. I move this around like if we need extra seating or if I, it, it flips over and turns into like a side table, so it's kind of nice. Um, yeah, just the rest of my sound setup, guitar, etc. And then I got my balcony, um, which I don't feel like going on, but yeah, this is my balcony. Nice little view of the interior courtyard. Uh, but this is my, this is the whole main area of my apartment. It's my living room, my kitchen, TV area, just everything all in one place, which is good and bad. All right, guys, this is my bedroom. Um, the first thing you'll see when you walk in is a nice air purifier because I have a really bad allergies. This rug, this is a, a Persian rug. It's pretty old. I got it from my parents. I bought this uh, secondhand as well. These are both antique. Um, my little dresser and my, my little mirror that you may have seen make an appearance on my IG. <laughs> uh, this top situation area is a little bit of a mess, but it's just because I need to get my stuff organized and sorted and redecorated and whatnot. But uh, this is my old Polaroid from when I was little. Look how much dust is on it. Uh, either I need to buy a new film for this or figure out what to do with it because I just, I don't need it just sitting around collecting dust. I've got another Pothos plant. So yeah, just a bunch of uh, random little things, but I'm hoping to, to organize a little bit more when I move. I keep my necklaces on the side of this this mirror just because I find that it's easy storage, easily accessible, and just super quick to get to. So let's move on to this side. I have this beautiful mid-century um, nightstand. I bought two of them. They were both also antique second-hand pieces. Um, this little nightstand, night light lamp situation I've had for a very long time. Um, my bed is just on a platform. I didn't feel like doing the whole headboard situation. 
just comfy, cozy white uh, bedding. Super comfy. And then I got that little uh, Ikea basket on the floor with this chair. Oh, this chair makes me so sad. I have been meaning to reupholster this chair since before I moved into this apartment. So it's been more than a year now. It's just really, really old. Like the, the fabric just needs to go. It's, it's super old and like stained. I just need to get it reupholstered and the foam replaced so it'll be in, in tip top shape. And then I also have another beautiful illustration on the floor. This was done by my friend Leo. I will link his Instagram in my video. Um, he's an illustrator and an artist here in Houston, Texas and he's super talented so you should definitely check him out. Yeah, so that is my bedroom. Super cozy little bedroom that I love. Um, and then we have this random basket. These are all like random moving things. I cannot show you my closet because everything I am moving that I've already packed is in there. It is a disaster. Hi, but one day I can do a closet tour. If you wanna see a closet tour, comment below and let me know because I would be more than happy to do one. Once I move and get everything reorganized, I can definitely do a closet tour. But um, yeah, this is all for the bedroom. I really love all the pieces in here. I think it's just a very cozy, comfy feeling room. Even with the concrete floor, even with the concrete flooring, I feel like it works. Um, I actually love the concrete because if you haven't noticed, I do take all of my YouTube thumbnail pictures on the floor here. Like I'd like to flat lay stuff, but also it's really nice for just messes and like staying cool in the summer, but also things spilling. I don't need to worry about. Um, it's really easy to clean up. Now my bathroom. Um, yeah, y'all know how a bathroom <laughs> works. So here I am. Here is my counter. I have a little tray of the stuff that I use pretty much every day. And then I have this box because this is all of my uh, June lip challenge lipstick. So if you haven't checked out my June lip challenge video, click right here and watch it. Yeah, just random things. I also have a medicine cabinet. I did a whole bathroom organization and declutter. So I will link that above if you want to watch it. Um, I put a fake Ikea plant here just to give it a little bit of life in this room. Uh, it's got a little shelf where I keep my my lipsticks, some of them, my CBD oil, a neti pot, and this Indian healing clay and a bunch of random knickknacks. And then I have this Ikea cart in the corner. Um, really right now, this is just like a catch-all for all of my stuff because I am a true mess right now. Like everything's just out of, out of order and all over the place, but I've got some makeup up there, some more makeup, like it just don't even judge me. Dirty brushes, whatever. <laughs> this is my shower. Um, Got a little soap scum over there. I gotta clean before I move out, but you know, it happens. Uh, this bath mat I actually just recently got from Crate and Barrel and it's gorgeous. It's so fuzzy and comfy and nice and I just love it so much. So there you go, that's my bathroom. Uh, not too much to show. Hey guys, so it's hot, um, I'm sweaty and it's kind of a mess, but I thought I would kind of finish off my apartment tour by almost doing like a vlog-like update. I want to give a quick empty tour of the same apartment um, just to show you what it looks like. And when it's empty, I'm about to move out. Like tomorrow's my last day, um, even here. So I'm gonna turn in my keys tomorrow and whatnot. It's kind of bittersweet because this is my first apartment ever and I've definitely outgrown it. Um, in terms of like layout and size and this and that, but still it was my first apartment. So I'm really um, I Still it's got a special place in my heart. So I um, want to give you a quick tour of this apartment empty So you can see what it looks like and uh, hope you enjoy it So here I'm walking in and there's the kitchen. I apologize if you can hear my shoes squeaking, but um, I love the concrete floors I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I really liked them um, Power went out last night because it was a really bad storm and I also really, really love the ceilings. Um, although, again, not everybody might, you know, you might hate them. Um, but yeah, there's the kitchen area. Very empty looking. And then here was where I had my bar cart. You can see some residue, but uh, you know, it's cool. The little walkway, and here's my empty living room. Oh, it's so sad. I filmed so many YouTube videos here. I don't know. I guess there's just something about, I think I'm just like, too much of a sentimental person and actually like need to kind of detach from these kind of things. Like it's just an apartment, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm not even that sad because I really love my new place, but um, you know, there's something about your first apartment, like, you know, my first time living on my own, my first time ever paying rent and like paying all my own bills and stuff. I kind of feel like I like grew up here a little bit, kind of experienced real life, adult life, hashtag adulting. Um, even though I've been working for years, I hadn't lived on my own till now. 
Um, but yeah, this is my bedroom. It looks a lot, I mean, it's not that big to begin with, but it looks a lot smaller without furniture in it. Uh, and then I'll show you the bathroom, which we had cleaned. So now it's actually clean, except for the shower, it's kind of stained. Um, but I really like this bathroom. Hello, I'm a mess. Um, I really like that this has a medicine cabinet. I'm like weird about medicine cabinets. I, I always had one at my parents' house growing up, so I really like medicine cabinets. Um, but yeah, a nice little, little bathroom. And then I can actually show you the closet now because there's nothing in it and I'm not embarrassed of the mess that I had. It's an interesting closet. With the layout, it looks gigantic. So it's also not only just like a coat closet, my own closet like for clothes, but it's also a utility closet. The one qualm I have with this apartment is that this closet is my only storage. Like this one room is the only storage I have in the entire apartment. Um, and it looks huge, but like it's a laundry room, it's a closet, it's blah, 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 blah. Not to complain, but um, I'm complaining. <laughs> but yeah, this was it. Um, it's all empty. And uh, it was kind of a hot mess when I did my actual furnished apartment tour, which is why I didn't want to show it. But uh, yeah, pretty much, I mean, nothing else to see here. Maybe I'll show you the balcony. I think the balcony might be fun to see. Let's see. It's weird because they have these blinds you actually have to pull up and they're so heavy that they're hard to pull. So I always end up just going behind them. But I'll show you, let me turn this light on. I'll show you the balcony. Here's a little balcony. The view is kind of nice. Um, I have a little courtyard view. Super cute, tiny little balconies. Um, I actually never leave this light on, so it's kind of stressing me out because it's all fluorescent and ugly, but it's a cute little cozy area. There's the gym. Um, yeah, back we go. Okay, so that was my complete and official apartment tour. Have you ever seen an apartment tour that you see furnished and empty? Hello. <laughs> I'm really uh, trying, to be, trying to be real here. Um, but no, I'm, yeah, like I said, it's kind of better to move out, but I'm really excited because I love my new place and uh, the layout is perfect for me. The location's great too. Um, Midtown's nice, it, it's close to everything, but um, you know, time to move on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Um, let me know what other videos you want to see. Uh, I would be more than happy to do like a closet tour in the new place because it's actually quite organized now. Before it turns messy, maybe I'll do a closet tour. But uh, yeah, my first apartment, woo, but also bye. <laughs>